and welcome back to Tech Tuesday. Today's kind of a simple one, but it's very effective. I learned this trick from my custom automotive painting buddies. The idea is uh, to avoid overspray and not remask everything. So this is a project I'm working full on for Copper Sound pedals. It's an, a guitar effects pedal, but there's a lot going on on this. There's images all over it. And what I'm doing is I'm basically taking this, this project in bits and pieces. So as I'm doing one little section, uh, I would, you know, the, I don't want to get paint all around everything I've already done. So I would mask off each little section. Now, on this pedal, it's small. It's pretty easy to mask it off. I can use, you know, a couple pieces of paper. Sarah's working on this painting right here. I could just use a couple pieces of paper and, and tape them down. There are some great products out there. This one is from FBS. And what it is, is it's, um, it's already basically taped masking paper for you. I'll rip off a piece to show you. This stuff is great. I use it a lot. Um, so basically, it's just a piece of, <clears throat> you know, inexpensive paper to use for masking, and it's got a little piece of tape on the top. So that, you would use that to just kind of, you know, tape off where you want, don't want the extra paint to go. And then this even opens up, so it, you have a lot of material. So there's things like that which are great. Or again, <clears throat> you can do it the old school way and just put the paper on there and then run a piece of tape, and that's good too. Since there are so many images on this and I'm working all over the place, I'd have to keep remasking and retaping, and it gets to be a pain in the butt. So sometimes, you know, you need a quicker way. And that's what this little trick is right here. So you notice how I have the tape kind of up like a wall, almost like a dam. Um, and the, what that does is when I'm working right here, the overspray can't get beyond this wall, and then everything's safe. And it literally takes a piece of tape to do it. So I'm going to show you how to do that and, and how it works. I won't do it on this because I don't want to screw that up. So I have a piece of regular aluminum and I'll show you kind of a little bit of everything. So here's the problem. When say I'm painting here and I just put a piece of tape to mask that off to kind of give me a sharp edge on what I'm painting like this. So if I'm doing like real close up stuff, make sure to get this brush going. There we go. So if I'm painting things that are <clears throat> that are close to this side, whatever I'm doing, I'm painting, I don't know, trees or whatever. So if I'm pretty close to the edge right here, there's not going to be any overspray over here. But if I back this up, and I'm spraying like something bigger, like a fill or something on that. When I go to remove this tape, there's gonna be a halo of that spray on the other side. Now I was kind of aggressive with this. You'd be surprised how little paint you, you're applying over here that will end up over here. So it's, it's, it's amazing how, how much paint gets across, you know, even three quarters of an inch. So that's the problem. So the way to get around that again is to take a piece of paper and that piece of tape, and then that blocks it all off. So now when I spray, obviously over here, nothing is going to, just the overspray will just end up on the paper. The other option, and I'll show you this for real is the FBS stuff and it works the same way. It's just, it's all done for you. So you apply your, your piece of masking and then you're all set to go. You won't get anything over here. But there's a quicker way with this little tape there. I'll get you guys closer. So basically what you do is you kind of apply the first, say, edge of the tape like this. You don't apply the back back it up just a little so you can see the end and then you just kind of crinkle the ends fold them down onto themselves or kind of like this basically all you want to do is get that get this part of the tape to stay upright and I usually have a little you know a lot of luck just folding it and then just taping it down to the surface and that will keep the tape up like a little wall like that 
So that will have the same effect. I mean, that will stop most of the overspray, if not all of it. I mean, if you go really, really heavy and you're really far back, you can skip that wall. You can get on the other side, but you really have to be hammering the paint. But see what it does? It just collects that overspray right against the wall. So then when I peel this off, there won't be anything here. I'll show you that real quick. So there won't be any any kind of weirdness on there. So this has um, a practical home use too, which I um, found that um, sign, I found this from the sign installers that I used to have my studio in. <clears throat> if you're drilling a hole, like say you're hanging something in, in your house and uh, you have to drill a hole into your drywall and you don't want to get drywall everywhere as you're drilling, you can do the same exact thing this way on your wall and it'll as you're drilling here it'll catch all your uh, drywall which is kind of a neat trick so anyway it's twofold but anyway so that is the tape damp trick like I said it's really really simple it's easy but but man it saves you a ton of time and you can use it everywhere you know I mean in your in your painting there may be a, a time where you just need to make sure you don't get overspray in a spot and you don't want to you know mask the whole thing off and this is just going to work as, as a great little option. So there you go. It's simple, it's easy, but it works. And that's what we like about Tech Tuesday. All right. If you enjoyed this video again, please like and subscribe. Tell all your friends. Uh, there's new tips every Tuesday. Uh, there's show and tell on Thursday. So I appreciate you guys coming by my channel and hanging out. And if you have any suggestions for Tech Tuesday, if you see me do something <clears throat> on the live feed that uh, you'd like a little bit more clarification on, please put in the comments below. Um, if you have additional comments on this, uh, other ideas that you guys use, please put them in the comments too. All right. I'm Steve Leahy. This is Tech Tuesday, and I will catch you guys next week.